will be put into a folder on the server. Uh, this movie will be put into a folder on the server for you to watch later. Um, if you're um, going to be working at home, you should be able to take this catalog home with the preferences in it um, and work on your catalogs on your home machine. It is important that you repeat these steps on your home machine as well because the preferences stick with the particular Lightroom software that you've opened. So the first thing that we do actually is we launch Lightroom 4. You may or may not get this screen. Uh, chances are that you won't get this screen. You'll actually get a screen that looks more like this. It'll have, it'll have somebody else's um, images loaded into it, okay? Um, and the deal is that um, when you open Lightroom, the first thing you want to do is set up the preferences. So you're going to have to click through some of these dialog boxes in order to get it, the software to open. So no matter what kind of dialog box you get, go ahead and click through and just say open. So we're going to wait for it to open here. Okay? So please just wait. Don't do this yet. I'm going to go ahead and ignore the updates. So you can see that it automatically opened a Lightroom catalog. Uh, sometimes this will be yours. Sometimes it won't be yours because um, the default is that Lightroom saves the preferences on the machine that you've been working on. I want you guys to take the preferences with you so that when you go from home to school, they remain constant. So we're just going to open Lightroom. We're going to kind of ignore it. And we're going to go to um, up here to the top uh, where it says in Lightroom, up at the top. If you can't see it, it's up here, Lightroom Preferences. There are a lot of different preferences in Lightroom, but the ones that I'm going to go over are the ones that are important for us since we're working on multiple machines, okay? Here we are in the under Lightroom Preferences in the General tab. This is the first tab. And the important thing that you want to choose is when starting up this catalog, you don't want the most recent catalog to open up right away because it may not be yours and it can be confusing. You want Lightroom to ask you which catalog you want to open. The catalog is the .lrcat file, which is the container that points to all of your original pictures, okay? The other things that are interesting are, is that you can have the, um, when you plug in a memory card, you can have Lightroom automatically open up its import dialog box. This can be handy or this can be annoying. It can be annoying because you may want to do some other things before you start working in Lightroom. So as soon as you plug in a import or a, a memory card, the import box and Lightroom launches and you may not want that. So actually I prefer to have it off and to call up the import dialog box manually. Ignore camera generated folders. Um, the folders on your CF or SD cards are named by your camera. These are usually a series of numbers and letters that don't make any sense, so I tend to leave this on. If you've shot RAW plus JPEG, you can choose to import both the JPEG and the RAW file. I don't really recommend that because it's so easy with Lightroom to export JPEG, so I leave that off. Okay, so those are kind of the important things in this general tab. Um, and I'll do a little screen grab of it for you. Under the preset button, the screen, screen grab remembers command shift four. I don't know why it couldn't save it. Maybe because we're recording a movie. There we go. So general, under the preset option, um, the other thing that's important is this one, to store all presets with your catalog file. Um, basically, the, ca the presets get saved automatically into your pictures folder, in your Lightroom folder, on your machine. And you don't want them saved on your machine because when you go home, the preferences that you set up, like if you have any special copyright information or keywords, or let's say you have a special black and white filter mix that you've created, those will get left behind on the machine that you've worked on. You don't want that. You want it to travel with 
all of the files so that no matter what machine you're on, your presets are stored with your catalog so that your catalog can always see the presets no matter what machine that you're on. So that's another important thing. So we're going to do that. Okay, make a screenshot of that. Once you've set up the presets, you're going to quit the catalog or quit Lightroom. File quit or Command Q closes Lightroom. And I'm going to go ahead and relaunch it. When you relaunch it, you should see this window. This window asks you which catalog you want to work with. We haven't set up a catalog yet. You guys don't have one yet. We're going to do that today. So what we're going to do is create a new catalog. And this is a really important step because um, I don't want you accidentally putting it in the wrong place. It's really important that you fi find your file structure from the last lab, click on the Lightroom catalog, okay, and I already have a couple, of he couple here, you won't have anything, and then up at the top, you're going to give it a name. I'll name it number three since I already have a few here. So your catalog file is going to get saved into this folder. I'm going to cr hit create. And you know that you're working in your own catalog because it's going to have your name at the top. So um, if you o accidentally open a catalog that's not yours, it won't have your name at the top. And that'll explain why none of the pictures look familiar. So let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> you know, no, some people open a catalog and they say, these aren't my pictures. What's going on? Somebody put pictures in my catalog that aren't mine. So let's see what it looks like. Here's the catalog that I just created, the folder. This is my L dot LR cat file. This is the file that I can launch on my home computer and it will open up the catalog that I've been working on. Um, so there's a couple of different files here that get created. Notice our presets now live with our catalog because that was a preference that we set up. And there's all these different kinds of cool presets that we're going to be making. So you don't want to leave them behind at school. You want to take them with you, which is why we set up the preferences the way we did. These two files, I honestly don't know what they do. They only show up when Lightroom is running. So there are files that need to be going while Lightroom is running. And this is your data file. What it's, it's, it doesn't have any uh, size right now, but it's going to start getting bigger and bigger as we add pictures. It adds JPEG previews. These are the JPEG previews that get added to your, your catalog. So that's how we set up preferences. All right, um, and so that's what you're going to do first to set up preferences. The next, uh, after we set up preferences, I'm going to help you do that. Um, you guys are going to, in order to turn them in, um, you're going to take a screen grab, command shift number four. Okay, uh, actually, you know what I want you to do? Set up your preferences. Then also show me your um, catalog like that, okay? And command shift number four, do a screen grab. Then you're going to name your screen grab, uh, whichever one it is here, I can't tell, it's this one, okay? And um, turn it in, so it's going to be lab preferences. and put that into the box, drop box. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to put this movie in the um, drop box for you. Um, and you guys help each other out. Um, I'll go through it step by step with everybody. If you want to go faster, that's up to you, OK?